Street. I want to find out about the Tommy John surgery and what you felt the first time and, you know, what diagnosis was there. I mean, you had to see some doctor and he had to say, I've never seen this before, or you're washed up, you're done, your career's over, right? No, I had a doctor uh, with the Dodgers. His name was Frank Job, And when I, ha when I hurt my elbow, we didn't have MRIs. All we had were x-rays. So all they could see was the bone in my, in my elbow, and it was fine. Uh, but my elbow was loose. And Dr. Job said, I think you've torn the ligament in your elbow. And my comeback to him was, okay, what do we do? And he said, well, I've never really done this before on somebody that makes a living throwing a, a baseball. I said, okay, then let's don't do the surgery. If we don't do the surgery, you'll never pitch again. And he said, you probably won't pitch again. Probably won't pitch is a heck of a lot better than never pitch. So I right. said, okay, let's do it. And that so was what age, what age were you at this time? Uh, that was 1974. I was 31, which was, which is quite old actually. It is. Yeah. For a left-handed pitcher, you know, and back in those days you were over the hill at 32, 33, they were going to, they were going to farm you out anyway, put you out <laughs> the pasture. Well, they would have put me out the pasture with the Dodgers, but um, fortunately for me, they uh, they they got a new shepherd in by the name of Lasorda. <laughs> the, yeah, the wizard. One of the great characters in the history of sports. He always had a bounce in his step. He was always optimistic. The world revolved around Tommy when he was in the room. He'll be dearly missed. And he loved you, cared about you for who you were and not what you look like or what you believed. That was just him. And that's the special yeah. thing and what we're gonna miss about Tommy Lasorda. When you were around him, you could feel the energy. He had a love of life. I mean, that's, that's what you feel. He bled Dodger blue, that was real. He bled baseball, that was real. A wonderful ambassador. He was larger than life. He was bigger than the, he was the Dodgers. 71 years in an organization, 93 years old, 20 years as a manager. I mean, when you think Dodger blue, you thought Tommy Lasorda. Tommy loved the Dodgers. He loved baseball. This year he was there in Texas, and that's one of my proudest moments that we got to fulfill one of his dreams. And what stands out to me still, Brian, to this day is the 1988 playoff run to the World Series title, the Gibson home run, but really the fact that that team was an overachieving type of club that fuel, was fueled by his positiveness, his positivity. When I think about why I achieve success, and <clears throat> it's hard, but you know, it was because of what he committed into my life and then did not let you let up from it on a daily basis. You're talking about a person that is one of a kind. And to play for Tommy Lasorda, it was a one of a kind experience. Uh, the stories are endless. I was right in the front row, but obviously Vlad let the ball, let the bat go, and then Tommy just flat out yard sale right there. Zimmer's like, you serious? Just some athleticism. You know, we're, we're both older guys, but clean it up. So Tommy comes over. Tommy's a funny guy. Like he always has the best stories. Like, I can't remember exactly what he said, but whatever he said was really funny at the time. I was just like, oh yeah, I can't believe I'm here at the All-Star Games.